Hello, everyone. Hello, testing, yes. OBS was a little slow on the draw there, I think. But happy Sunday! Welcome back to Two Point Campus as soon as it loads in here. In fact, I think I'll make it so you can actually see the splash screen as it comes in, which I don't always do. I think my tea's almost ready, so I'll go get that in a moment. Hope everyone's having a lovely Sunday. I wonder if you can hear my tea maker over there. All right, I will get my tea and I'll be right back. There we go. Well, it's another gray, silvery, rainy day outside. I actually did go out walking in the rain a bit yesterday. But uh, at least where I am, we have not had big flooding, flooding problems or anything, so doing okay. It's just wet and cold. But that's fine, especially because it's really green in that case, which is really nice. really nice seeing green hills and all the various uh, kind of drainage ditches have plants growing in them. If there's too many plants and the city comes through and scrapes them all out, which is a little sad. But uh, everyone's lawns are coming up green, long grass, and it's, it's so ironic that you think winter is kind of the time when nature goes to sleep and and uh, but around here winter is when we get rain and that means that's when all the green comes out so I enjoy it as long as I don't have to commute in it Biking in the rain is when it gets miserable, but as long as I don't have to do that, I actually rather enjoy it. But no rain at our campus unless it's a meteor shower. student happiness not not all the way up there that's something I'd like to work on because that people's uh, first aid issues may be what's keeping them from that A plus average we're at an A we need to start graduating with A pluses so let's go ah 
Someone's happy to be in a spacesuit at least. Hopefully we'll have no trees phasing through the floor this time. And yeah, we usually get like green a week at a time. It'll rain a little bit, everything will turn green briefly, and then it goes back to brown. But we've had a couple weeks of rain, so it's been pretty lush. Taking a while to load. There we go. Hard work may or may not pay off. Okay, well, here we go. All right, before we start the new year, we need another computer lab and another crematorium. And we've got some course points to spend. So let's build these things first. We've got not giant amounts of money, but we should have all our loans available. So let's maybe expand over here. Actually, let's, yes, let's take the big loan. We can afford that. Janitor required in bathroom. Oh, the frames. Uh, we've got a very crowded staff room here. We could make another little one of those. Could maybe tuck it over there. That's right, I hadn't made good use of that space either. And of course, we've got first aid stuff to contend with. Let's go ahead and copy this room. There's a door there. All right, well, let's just make the room a little bigger then. Zoom in a bit, we might have fewer graphics issues that way, since it doesn't have to draw so many things at once. There you go. Two points radio. This is Ricky Hawthorne. It's a few minutes past something. We'll check on those numbers while you listen to some music. Come on, circuit board. I want to pick you up. My name is Circuit Board, and I'm not coming to your stupid party. Fine, you can stay there. We'll work on upgrading that in a moment. Uh, for now, let's hire someone to work over there, if we can. Ooh, you can also be a librarian. Excellent. 
work here. Replace Jock Rambo? That's an awesome name. That computer lab over there is frightfully expensive because of all the extra cat servers. Let's um, let's make the crematorium first. In fact, can I just copy a nice one? It's kind of a biggish one. Oh yeah. so huge. This is our second one. Okay, and the humanity students are the ones we really need to focus on. upgraded humanities, but now I need... Oh! One of our teachers, at least one of our teachers, is qualified both for cheesemongery and humanities. So they must have been pushed into a humanities course. And then our scheduling meant we need someone for cheesemongery. You drop litter, I don't like you. You're okay. Okay, we've got enough shuttle capacity for our applicants. Uh, campus level, we're working on that. Uh, we need to earn money from our crematorium classes. It's something we haven't quite done yet. But I'm sure this will help. Alright, well how are our first aid cues? We are still definitely working through them. It's funny how your routines can change after all these years. Lately, I've been enjoying a bowl of hog logs in the morning. It's true what they say in the advert. That just wasn't enough pig in my morning. This next song is for the hog log lady. You're gross. I don't want you working in first aid. We'll see if someone becomes available. out anyone that we definitely don't like. We can't train anyone during summer, so that won't help. There we go. Oh, however, I want to make sure that you don't work in the library. Someone was temperature uncomfortable, so let's work on that too.
There we go. And while we're here, let's put our nice hedges up too. chased into a tree by a group of students barking like dogs. I went into a primal state of self-preservation, hissing at them like a feral cat. I've learned since that it was some kind of initiation for a society. Oh, I suppose now that I know it was a joke, I can see the funny side. Ha, young people, eh? The terrifying scamps. <laughs> Looks like students with a long way to go should really get moving. We can warm things up a bit over here. these a little more intelligently. There we go. Can't get custody of this area, which makes the whole heat map look very strange. That's a plot I don't own. I can't put stuff anywhere there. The heat map doesn't make a whole lot of sense. The places I thought would be lines are not quite lines. It's almost a little too warm. better. Alright, how are our first aid lines? What's your problem? You can't figure out where you're going. We have a lot of people who can't figure out where they're going. Why are you lost? Well, I think we're all set at this point. Come on. My mouse has been a little cranky lately. I've already ordered a new one. But I think we can start. Let's start queuing up upgrades for things. Is there any research we can do for money? Yes, that's crackers. And humanities, we can train up to level seven, looks like. Library management. Uh, we can ask for equipment upgrades during summer, but they won't actually get worked on during summer. Whoa! Is that? It can't be. Same goes for training. Cheesy gubbins. One big gubbin. <laughs> Out of your dreams and into your mouth. It's not your year, it's just another year. Students want better accommodation. Ah, that will help them as well. All right, let's...
get ourselves a little more space. Big Gubbin sounds like a jawbreaker. Yeah, something like that. One of those massive ones with layers. Got another couple of buildings here. Intruders on campus. Oh, no. Now, in this case, I think I really would like to remove one of these. It's 10 and 11. Ah! Oh! Grammar bug. I think we've already established the game doesn't let us connect buildings. You students should make a good first impression. No pressure. Though I do like having two doors. That was nice. Mountains, you might want to wear a second pair of shoes. I suppose skis <laughs> are technically a second pair of shoes. What they lack in terms of providing warmth, they make up for by being a lot like very thin toboggans. Play that music. Let's take the small loan. I don't want to max out our big ones all at once. Oh, pastoral support is busy. Okay. 
Okay, we are definitely somewhat dependent on our supplemental income sources. We've done a lot of building, but our campus level hasn't really gone up. Alright, yeah, that cheesy heap was a big help. Let's see if we can improve it even further. plumbing club. Oh, it's a lot of fun. The pipes, the tools, the rush when you blow a valve. The competitive element is one thing, <laughs> but it's also great training for when something goes wrong at home. After all, with the right attitude and a little experience, there's no problem. You can't make worse. Okay. Looks like pastoral care is kind of the current wellness bottleneck. First aid is doing okay. Assistant needed in library. This is off center. It's gonna bother me. handle it next summer. In the meantime, we could use a restroom and a shower. Okay, fine. We'll take the cheap ones. Your body is a temple, and you wouldn't fill a temple with crisps. We can always fill this out a little better later. Okay, we got some money from a research project. Good for us. Is there another one we can do? Not a useful one. We'll wait till they come up with something. In the news today, pop star Jasmine Odyssey has everybody talking after sharing an image of a spatula. <laughs> Fans are debating whether this latest post is a cryptic suggestion of music to Okay, I'm not going to wait till summer. These are bothering me enough as it is. One. Oh, level 29. We're almost to the right level. Come on. Why don't you want to go there? What is the problem? Okay. 
Okay. Simply a kitchen-based mistake. It's hard to say, but what is clear is that we'll be discussing it for days. <laughs> Students are reminded to have the time of their lives. How are our students doing? Please join me in welcoming the mysterious space rock to campus. Okay, we've got a few people who've got A pluses in humanities, but not many. Keep on doing the things that will make students happy. We still have some who want better dorms. Yeah, we could definitely do with still more once we have a bit more money. Achievement unlocked. The good stuff. And that must be related to the cheese. In any case, I think it's time for another shower room. I'm actually gonna center them this way, and that will give me room for a couple of small radiators on the side. the end of our show but i'll be back tomorrow to do it all over again here's to that here's first to aid's filled up relentless advance here's to you two point county playing us out we've got an absolute firecracker good night we do seem to be bringing in money though Get our hedges in. There's a hedge. Healthy body, healthy mind. I came up with that. You won't let me go any farther than that. All right. Very well. And some odd edge of map boundaries. Big Lug Slug. The Pemberley Frog Sanctuary are worried about the environmental consequences of Cheesemongery's giant space slugs. Receive a big fee for proving what we already know, that they wouldn't hurt a frog. Sure. I think it was just line of sight preventing it, not the geography. All right, well, I'll I'll try it again. Janitor required to install upgrade. Oh, all right. That let me get this far. 
but now I'm not very well able to... Well, there I can go in that corner. Let's try and run it very carefully. Okay. Alright, yeah, I need some very tricky angles on some of these. Let's see if I can fill in more here the same way. Yeah, you gotta look... You gotta be looking from almost straight down for this. I think there is something about the geography that's confusing it, but if you can angle the camera to look past it, then you're okay. More space rocks, ah! Oh, here's a place where I missed a spot. And that's not even... It's not even in a weird place. Ah. Oh, I have no money. Okay. Eggbos Cressley will have you here later. We need some cheese money. a couple A plus humanities students. Announcement. Healthy body, healthy mind. I came up with that. are still doing okay. You've got a microphone on. One student is unhappy. I think you're stuck in class or maybe you're working on an assignment. Report. People like us. Good. Got loads of people with training queued up. Stayed 10. I think that's as high as we can go. All right, there's more money. Radio. We've got a big show for you today, but I'm trying not to think about it. <laughs> no, only joking, of course. This is really fun. Let's have some music, <laughs> shall we? Uh, let's see. Librarian 
librarians? Spending a lot of our time training librarians. Let's make sure all our pastoral care people are trained. Because that is actually kind of an impacted area. In fact, Sammy Fingers, let's give you pastoral care training. You can join in. Is our library anyway. There it is. It would be nice to expand it a bit. Maybe during the summer. slightly more money, I would upgrade those. Janitor needed to unblock toilets. Lovely. Oh, and now that we've got loads of cash, we can do things like upgrade some of these toilets. Just make things that little bit nicer. love to give this room some learning power upgrades, but I think I have to wait a little bit. So I have the money to do it efficiently. I'm so disappointed in you. <laughs> uh, this room... Please get picked up and turned sideways. That way I can fit something else beside it. Maybe a pastoral care room? I think that's a good idea. And now over to Hugh and something about a hose. Uh, yes, that's right. Students were protesting a sudden spike in milkshake prices. I'm told that proceedings were fairly peaceful until a rogue beach ball struck an attendant on the arm. Things got a little tasty and a garden hose was even used on one student who described himself as fine, just a bit wet. I'll be here bringing you the updates as the story develops. Back to you. Shocking. And there we go, level 30. giving you teleporters no one would use them hmm 
Who's running this place? You have first aid level six. You're working pretty quickly. Make sure people have a nice, pleasant waiting area. Thank you. training you all in next. More inspirational speaking. Let's get that first aid training in there too. Especially the cheap low levels. shoelaces untied. This trend is here to stay. Oh, there really is something about seeing all those laces dancing in the wind. Yes, we may have seen a fairly drastic uptake in people falling down, but this is the price you pay for fashion. Is it more or less ridiculous than saggy pants? I don't know. Your body is a temple, and you wouldn't fill a temple with crisps. I saw someone the other day with mismatched socks. It was just someone out walking. We weren't at any particularly interesting place. the socks red and green? No, it wasn't even like a festive thing. It was just like one of them was a plain black sock and the other one was black with a pattern on it. I honestly couldn't tell if it was a deliberate choice or one simply born of desperation. doing? Third years? What are your grades like? Everyone in Cheese Moongry has better grades, looks like. That must be an easier subject. But we are starting to see a few third years with A pluses. Let's look at second years. like one. We'll, we'll see the full effects of things. As they go through their entire career. Not a great month for money. Weather report. It's raining space rocks. Oh 
no. On you. Let's make sure that once you're out of class, you can get these things dealt with. Hopefully you won't be stuck in a long queue. Janitor required in bathroom. And a haircut. Your species doesn't seem to have hair. How could you come up with a name like that? Maybe you were just kind of, maybe your parents were just fascinated by this English word and I don't know. At Milkmaid, we use real dairy style ingredients in our milkshakes for a level of consistency that just isn't natural. <laughs> Meaning that every glass of Milkmaid is eerily similar to the last. Mmm, yeah. milk made. Now that's good milk. Not Oof. just milk. <laughs> Keep an eye on you. You want training. That makes sense. I've been training everyone except cheese mongery teachers. We'll train you as soon as we have money. We'll probably get money as soon as class ends because of the cheese mongery, so we shall be all right. Okay, well, thankfully, you're first in line for the various things you're doing. And where was that teacher who wanted training? They've gone somewhere. was someone with like rank one in cheese mongery. So let's just hand out a couple of those. Uh, meanwhile, we can improve other people in other ways. First aid training, there you go. Oh, there's someone. What training would you like? You have space mining. Uh, let's give you aerodynamics. My lights just flickered. Uh, where's well, our the end of today's show and favorite student? Fly I wasn't timing it or anything, but if I was, I think I'd see that we finished 35 seconds early. I've been Maggie Watmore. I'll be back tomorrow for my next allotted segment. Bye for now. All right, well, at least you're getting the help you need. 
Let's make sure you're in a good queue position for first aid once you get out of here. <laughs> hmm. You don't have meteor mites anymore either. That's odd. Hopefully you can leave the room at some point. Campus level 31. What's your skill level? Three. First aid, more pastoral care. I don't want people's pastoral care visits to take too long. Got a couple applicants. People are not using the bins when they should. work better on our anti-invasion skills. And there's some cheese money. We've almost got enough of that cheese money. Well, we 
we seem to be a little more on top of things. We certainly don't have people actually dropping out anymore. We might be able to prevent some of these issues with better security and better space mining. Two Point Radio. Greetings, greetings, and welcome to the show. We all have our passion projects, don't we? Our dreams, our hobbies, our oddly job-like hobbies and odd jobbies. Personally, I moonlight as a writer of mysteries. Up next, I'll be taking you to a black and white world of mystery and intrigue. The much anticipated return of Inspector Blanbury in Pinch Puddings and Just Desserts. OMG. Okay, how'd we do? 42 graduating, 104 continuing, no one leaving for terrible reasons. Still no A plus graduates. None. Even those people we saw with good grades earlier in the year, few as they were, didn't keep them. Okay, well let's let's try and work more on prevention then. They were seniors, yes. A couple of them were. Uh, we need a living room for our humanities courses. So let's buy this plot. We won the Rising Staff Award 30 times. Good for us. can't upgrade humanities anymore, but we're close to it. I think I'd rather sit on that than spend it on cheese moongry. If our level goes up again, we'll be able to improve it later. go. And this is a living room. Looks good, but we're not going to start the year just yet because people still have issues to work through. Let's get our hedges in. Take a nice... Ah, that really is running up against the edge of the property line. They won't let us put anything there. But we can get close. <laughs> Let's hedge our bets, oh dear. That's right, I wanted to expand the library a bit. I'm gonna move these forward. It was a summary kind of 
Let's expand this out because one of the things I can do if the library is, oh, I can't expand it all the way because there's a door. However, I can move this door here. And Blanbury had scarcely caught his breath, fresh after outsmarting the smokely cat burglar when an invitation to tea dove inauspiciously through his letterbox. Such are the demands on a world-class detective and conversationalist. Uh, we've heard this show before. Uh, oh. Yes, cancel those changes. Take the small loan. Uh, I'm going to... put the nice... Big library reception desk in here because that should give us a learning power boost. We've got, yeah, this is just the reception, and this one gives 8% learning power boost. So there you go. Social simulator. Oh, right, that's the, the living room thing that we just added. Okay. Class detective and conversationist. Arriving at Flackley House, our inspector was met with two familiar smells. One promised scones, the other calamity. Gasp. Pastoral issues can be remedied by talking to a qualified librarian. Huzzah! Okay, if you've just joined us, welcome to this extremely cheesy space rock where we really need people to be graduating as A-plus students and they're just not quite getting there. Ah, yes, temperature. We must manage temperature in this area as well. Hello, 251. How are you? Uh, let's see. Uh, temperature, yes. Oh, we can do better than that. Let's put in the big one. That's better. And hopefully a fire pit's not too out of line. Yes, that's very nice. Uh, this area is a little chilly. Especially unfortunate considering how many people are having to wait around here. You're good? I'm good too. It's been very rainy, but very green, which is nice. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, we've got this interesting little dorm here. A lot of people with pastoral issues. We've got a queue length of four. Janitor required in bathroom. Meanwhile, the medical offices don't have much of anyone in them. Go ahead and put one in the dorm. It's having a hard time letting me reach past the property line here. enough money to cover our costs, we'll be fine. We'll have cheese profit. And so to tea, where the sandwiches came and went without the intervention of evil, though Blamry <laughs> feared the host had been a little overzealous with the cucumber, when, quite of a sudden, 
the lights went out. Oh no! Sorry, I'm always doing that. The light came up, and Blambre began to doubt himself. Perhaps what he felt was nothing but a herring of red. Alas. <laughs> Let's see. We won't see the effects of this for a little later, but let's try turning down student intake just a bit because that increases learning rate a little bit. Financially, that might be an unsound decision. Maybe we can let in a couple more cheese moongery students to make up the deficit. We don't have to build anything different. We've already expanded out for that course. Q lengths. Colby Jack Quiche. That's an amazing name. I love it. Uh, Q of one, Q of one. Okay. These rooms are starting to get through all their people. And yes, we can go ahead and queue up the upgrade for the social simulator. Boink. But it won't actually happen till the year starts. Okay. Let's wait till these rooms have gotten completely done with their people. How is everybody? Even our least happy people are pretty much doing well. Yep. Okay, we can start. Go. And let's start training our janitors, as well as our relevant teachers. Let's make sure People have good security skill. Assistant to the library. Thank you. Hey guys, guys, hear me out. What if we went back to school? It started as a class reunion and ended with them back in class. That's crazy! Hey, I'm climbing on a statue. <laughs> Everybody get in the shed. Oh, I can't revise anymore. My knees hurt. Roderick Cushion is varsity freshman in Immature Students. There we go. There's the shout out button. You often stream at times that I'm not able to tune in, but it's been fun when I have. That's right, we had a training machine over here that wasn't fully upgraded either. I suppose we could work on that at some point. And we've got this research project that is still running. Now with a bigger library, is there anything else I can add that will increase learning power? Bookcases don't do it. Uh, 
the specialized bookcases do help. We've already got a couple of those each. It's not a super big room. We could maybe move this science lab. Since we've got this whole other building over here. It'd be kind of funny because the lab's been over here this whole time. Let's let's pause this. In fact. What we could do instead is it is move this. Let's see if we can do that. Yes. In fact, it's prestige five, it's a prestige three. I'm gonna sell this room since I'm paused, I can do this. This here. That way I won't have to arrange all these objects by hand. Go. And for a moment there, we didn't have enough classrooms for our classes, but now we do again. Still want to upgrade this though. Now we have more room for our library. We interrupt our mystery for the news. Hogsport Lighthouse gone missing. Student strikes cause university closure. And Mayor threatens to triple taxes. Lovely. Now that's done, we can return to the matter at hand. Will Inspector Blanbury crack the case? Wouldn't you like to know? Janitor required in bathroom. But first, more music. There we go. Now we have more room. <laughs> Especially the ones about due dates. Mm, I don't have gobs of money. So let's wait till we get a little more. over there for now. These do add to learning power, so once we have some more money, I'd like to add more of them. Though I suppose I should focus on the humanities one, just in case it makes a subject-specific difference. Not to mention that social simulator over here. That's going to need upgrades too, for the same reason.
Medical offices are getting busy, but they're not completely overwhelmed yet. How's this teacher doing? You have uh, quite a few ranks in inspirational speaking. But who would do such a thing? Who would stoop to the lowly heights populated only by reprobates and trifle thieves? To the kitchen! Indeed, the trifle was gone without so much as a trace. However, in its place was a single white glove. <gasps> Why? A glove? The fiend must have removed it in the excitement. What good is a glove, dear Blenbury? A glove is no pudding. Ah, but it may yet lead us to pudding. Fetch the hounds! <laughs> Fetch the hounds! Okay, let's organize these a little better. Let's try and be a little better organized than my own alma mater's library. Ah, it's cold. We're gonna need more radiators. Radiator. Hmm. Slightly off kilter. Yes, they are. The staff are reminded that dogs don't eat homework. <laughs> there. prestige in there. Uh, let's get that machine upgraded. for another round of training on those who can handle it. And let's get another janitor in here. train you in security as well. They followed the jolly hounds through the ground, the crunch of the gravel building to a crescendo of narrative tension. <laughs> and then to grass and sight of the lake and the old willow, where, sitting against the weeping tree, they found the gloveless culprit. None other than Foggleton, the butler. <gasps> oh, Foggleton, how could you? I'm fired, aren't I? I should think so, yes. Be nice if we had a few different mysteries. All 
All right. Well, we've done everything except the A plus humanity students. First aid issues are still pretty rampant. Wow, check that out. People love this. There's somewhere else we can put one. Maybe on the other side of campus here? I'm not sure if we'll be able to keep it staffed. Unless I hire more people. Got a, a line for this. Let's put in a few more. You love Two Point Campus? So do I. Though we are in a bit of a bottleneck at the moment. Dynamics to our janitors. Ha -ha! As they say, the butler did it. It just goes to show you never can trust the help. Well, that's another masterpiece in the collection. But how do I do it? Really, it's a deliciously delicate balance of extreme talent and profound humility. Join me again tomorrow for more criminally underrated radio. Ta -da! Truly profound. There's another level up. We should be able to level up our humanities course again. Some students have a long way to travel. Is that their problem or ours? You would have better grades if you weren't so stupid. Ah, space rocks. Oh, they're the awesome ones though. These are the good space rocks. They'll give us money. And 
fact. Assistant needed in library. I'll just take it as an excuse to get one more person. You have to get these quickly because they decay. Loads of profit! Uh, okay, let's do another round of training. More humanities training for you. can go through the librarians again. Some of them are maxing out. And everyone who's not in the library, we can get you training in your first aids and pastoral care skills. Actually, get you some pastoral care skill as well. As for janitors, whoever's got especially low security will focus on that. Maybe a couple more. We never know when someone's going to show up. So I don't want everyone to be stuck training when there's still space rocks out and we could get invaders at any time. another monolith that showed up in the space rock. Okay, well, we managed to have space rocks without giving everyone medical issues, which is nice. You want training. Yep, here are space knights. Despite the rumors, the campus grounds are not a toilet. We've got just a couple people with A pluses in humanities. Ludwig. Let's try and send you to private tuition. Bridge the gap just a smidge. Hi, uh, I'm Felicity Bellbottoms and you may be listening to Campus Radio. Unfortunately, our broadcasting signal has taken a hit due to some of our equipment being prematurely recycled. One of our reporters <laughs> is in a skip, looking for the parts as we speak. So, consider that colorful visual, and we'll be right back. Good times.
Yeah, let's see. A fair number of people are... Busy repelling invaders. In fact, let's try and go all hands on deck for that. Space Knights are the ones giving everyone dark thoughts. The space stuff is DLC, Toshley. It came out a few months ago. A couple months. Oh, thank you for the follow. And, uh,. The first couple of campuses were, in fact, on Earth. This is the only one that's physically in space. It's just kind of... Make the surroundings a little nicer. People are happier when the area looks good. Not an idea for a segment. I don't know what is. How fortuitous. Please join me in welcoming the mysterious space rock to campus. I'm gonna dig those out. Hopefully quickly. So as few people as possible get sick. We especially need any research at the moment. We definitely don't need kudosh. More training. What's up next? Inspirational speaking. Everyone else is mostly catching up with what I gave them already. Still have invaders? Yes. So I don't want to queue up any more janitors for training till that's done. We've already got some security people stuck in the training room. Not the greatest situation.
You seem to have skipped out on tutoring. You'll be fine as soon as you can get out of class. How are the janitors? Still got a couple people chasing down those last couple of dudes. Quick, after him! Let's hear from Hugh, who's fresh out the skip with a story about an unusually cloudy weekend for one of the county's hottest locations. Students of the Breaking Point campus were expecting a weekend full of sun, laughter, and knockabout fun. But a dark cloud has washed away their optimism, leaving them with sadness and no real use for all that sun cream. They will forecast a weekend of sun and balmy temperatures, but what they got was a drizzly and altogether grey affair. Spare a thought for them, sitting inside. Their sandals, sandless. Their skin, cool and unburnt. Fliss, back to you. Oh, noes. All right, well, now the invasion's over. We can make everyone better at security. qualify a few more who could almost qualify if we can get tutoring for them can we add another tuition room make sure we always have someone who could staff it. Ace Mania, you drop litter. I don't like you. New research project available. My shoes are tied. Alright, well, not at the moment. We've got plenty of money. Let's expand the room a little bit. Uh, put that there. Put that there. Announcement. Healthy body, healthy mind. I came up with that. There we go. Now, hopefully, if we send people to tuition, there will actually be space for them. Training in space mining, too. Good for you. Hey, guys, guys, hear me out. What if we went back to school? It started as a class reunion and ended with them back in class. That's crazy! Hey, I'm climbing on a statue! Everybody get in the shed! <laughs> I can't revise anymore, my knees hurt! Roderick Cushion is varsity freshman in Immature Students. Not socially optional. 
Oh, you're already having medical care. You'll be fine. need private tuition to make sure that people's grades that are high enough stay high enough. Any more building space? Really just this big one here. I think that's about all the space we've got left. Yeah, that's it. Student support can be found in student support. Not a very profitable month, but that's okay. miserable and you just started class. That's unfortunate. Now one thing I can do is put some entertainment here in the hall for people who are waiting on pastoral care. Oh, that's badly placed. That's better. And also a heater. We're now hearing that the bored students in Breaking Point have been seen riding around campus in maintenance carts used by janitorial staff and the local Coast Guard. It's a sobering reminder to all of us that you can't take a golf cart without asking just because it's a bit cloudy. <laughs> Health inspection was fine, good for us. The campus provides health care for its students. Well, it should. Make sure to allow an extra person in the library. Just to make sure there's always going to be at least one person in there. We don't want we don't want students to feel chased out because there's no one at the desk. fine as soon as you can get out of class. Oh, another campus level up. 
I suspect a lot of it is coming from the training we're doing. It's just kind of quietly ticking upwards while everything else is happening. More learning power. Loads of profit. Have I paid off that other loan yet? Well, Not yet, but I can. There we go. Oh, it's the good ones. Care training. Year three, A plus. There's another, there's another few. Maybe tutoring is coming in. Whichever one of you can possibly manage to find the time. Ooh. Yes, please upgrade that Omnicure. Okay, more tutoring may do it. small chair slightly foreboding but I'm sure it's fine let's see how you're doing your grades 87% your teacher has Low humanity skill, no particular skill in tutoring. Let's see what happens to your grades after you finish the session. You improved by 1%. Not great. for tutoring we really need to start teaching our teachers to do tutoring. Ricky Hawthorne on Two Point Radio. Today I balance two hats jauntily on my one singular head. My regular disc jockeying hat is joined by my occasional chef hat. 
Yes, I'll be taking you all over Two Point County as I recount my latest culinary travels when I set out to find the finest foods our great county has to offer. Just a hungry man on his hatchback. It's a tale as old as time. You, for example. Let's give you some tuition skill. and we're not completely overflowing with first aid cases or pastoral care issues, which is really nice. We seem to have kept on top of those pretty well. So we may finally be starting to tip the balance. Oh, you're fine. As soon as you get out of class, you'll be okay. Students are reminded that you don't have to ask to go to the toilet. Unattended sandwiches will be eaten by me. <laughs> loads of money. Okay, yeah, we've got we've got some first aid cases. More money rocks? My gosh. That's kind of nuts. This one will give us a monolith. It's a big one. One reason for all the first aid cues is just because it's easy to get injured in the cheese mongering classes. A lot of those students have issues. End of year is approaching. It's too late to start trying. We have some people. Looks like only one the left. Culinary world is a lot like the real world. There are places, there are smells, there's a chance you'll get lost. After a series of wrong turns, now 60 miles off course, I was treated to the first food of my trip. A wandering puffed pastry and something I believe to be meat. The buttery sausage style matter mingled playfully with hints of pine from my air freshener. It was unexpected, it was dangerous, it was cold in the middle. And you don't seem to have gotten much benefit from that. 50 graduating, 108 continuing. And yes, that one person I saw on the list managed to be our first a humanities graduate. Hello, Reliable Battles. Nice to have you lurking. Uh, let's see. Well... We can... turn up our, our course level once more. That learning rate really high. The academic year is over. Students must vacate the campus. So we know we're finally tipping the balance.
And tuition may help. How's the campus coming along? Well, it seems to be doing better than it was, but not quite well enough for this third star. Uh, they want us to have people graduate their humanities courses, by which we mean aliens learning to act like humans, with an A-plus grade, and that is hard. We have a lot of people who well, not a lot, a lot, but a fair number of people who have an A-plus throughout the year, but then that last class, they just can't quite keep their GPA up. And so, uh, working on preventing first aid issues seems to help. And I think giving our teachers more tuition skill may help, too. For those cases where people need just a little bit of a nudge. So it's going fine, it's just that um, this is a campus with very high standards. How are people doing? We've still got a few people getting medical care, but it's not quite as clogged as it was. Which is nice. If you ask me, Hogsport boasts the finest milkshakes in Two Point County. At the Oily Cormorant, they'll serve you a traditional malt in an old leather boot and throw in <laughs> a salt and vinegar egg. You just cannot beat it. Milkshakes are a great tradition. They're in our blood. In fact, I once received medical attention after enjoying a few dozen shakes and was told that my blood was over 60% ice cream. How we laughed. Mm. Oh boy. Though, I will also say one reason we didn't have as many medical issues this year was because we were very lucky to get the good meteorites instead of the ones that make people sick. That was RNG. Is needed to collect litter. Not my doing. So there's no guarantee that things won't go totally nuts again next year. How are you? You seem to be our last person getting medical attention. Going for medical care again, but you were just in it. Did it not cure you enough the first time? Something odd was happening there. I believe that smell is you. Alright, but you're getting your needs taken care of. I think that's about as much as we're doing. So let's go. Now we just leveled up our humanities course, which means we can train teachers in the next rank of humanities, if they're available for training. Meanwhile, janitors... Let's 
make sure we have enough security people. Jules Beetroot does nothing special, but that's fine. It's good to have at least one person managing the basics while other stuff is going on. Oh, I don't know. Where do we start? D. I've been feeling a bit lost, you know. Orb. I could really do with a sense of purpose. Foundation. Who needs purpose when you've got the orb? <laughs> Man, AGDQ just finished. We just spent all week pondering orbs. Welcome, new students. We're more afraid of you than you are of us. Alright, let's be a little proactive. We've got, well, at this point we've got a fair number of, of third year students with A pluses. Don't know if they'll stay that way. Let's start poking a couple who are close. Go ahead and go for tuition before you get any farther behind. giving people any chance to actually finish their training before I come into this window. I gotta let things run for a while. profit in the six digits? Were you counting all the money rocks from the summer, perhaps? Because that seems kind of ridiculous. Yeti cuisine. Yes, our neighbors to the north really know their way around a kitchen. From stews and pickles to five-tiered sandwiches and, of course, their pies. Cold hands make the boldest pastry, after all, and it is freezing up there. You really must try it. It's the food of the people, and those people are Yetis. <laughs> Ah, it's off kilter. This will not stand. There. Janitor required in crematorium. Cheesy gubbins is fine. Humanities open day, that's good news. Library management 10 maxed out. Well done. How's this class doing? Well, you've got about as highly skilled a teacher as we can provide right now. It 
Someone just got inspired there. That's a bonus to their learning rate. Kind of just like to see what grade this class finishes with. A, all right. <laughs> or else we'll be stuck here forever. Okay, these are the bad space rocks. Plus students. Anyone who's within a few points will nudge into tuition. I took advantage of my kitchenette and feasted greedily on some toast. When I returned from the walk, I was stunned to find that all crumbage had been decrumbled. The bed was made <laughs> and the toilet spotless. Every oh, I've got another couple plots out here. All right. Washed away. You've got to ask yourself, had I really been staying here? Indeed, do I exist at all? Lovely stuff. Yes, we can bring Jasmine Odyssey in. A little sad to get rid of that scenery. But it is the most efficient way to go about things. Thanks to us having all this money, I'd like to see what we can do about giving ourselves maybe a few teachers who are dedicated to tutoring. Because we can do that. If I copy this room and stick it over here, No, no, don't cancel the room. We'll keep an eye on you. Now to run this room, let's get ourselves a teacher. Oh wow, you already have high humanities skill. Got a couple people like that. Let's hire you. 
let's train you in private tuition. Charlie Rampant, okay. And let's make private tuition your only job. You will not actually be scheduled for regular classes. And that will ensure we always have someone there. To clean up the place. Thank you. And I saw someone else in that hiring list, so let's try that same thing again. Because we seem to need dedicated tutors for tutoring to work really well. And cultural differences. One man's casual vol is another's world-shattering epiphany. The people of Smogley have been crusting and dusting their fish for as long as anyone can remember. But at the recently opened What's the Batter, they use a unique cheesy govern crumb. Ho 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 ho! I can safely say that it was the cheesiest fish this DJ had ever eaten. That's a winner! Oh, you're year two. I won't force you into tutoring yet. You might, they might do a two-point hotel or mall at some point. You know, they... When they were first making a theme hospital, I think they did do a theme park game. That genre is kind of a little more crowded now than it used to be, but that's at least one option. just bump you in the queue a little bit. Okay, how is everyone's training coming along? Space mining seems to be going well. did drop out. I think that was just bad timing. They managed to become miserable right as class was starting. Nasty meteorites have left us with a lot of medical issues. And I think we've... We've still got some people who would like better dorms if they can get them. Just going by the numbers I was seeing before, so I'll put in another couple of those. this map seem to get lost a lot. Did I ever play Mall Tycoon? No, I did not. I played Roller Coaster Tycoon. I played a little bit of Zoo Tycoon. Oh, and Moon Tycoon. I played the heck out of that. That That is a game that wanted to be surviving Mars when it grew up. 
hope you enjoyed today's show as much as I enjoyed my trip around this wonderful, mysterious county of ours. But for now, all of this talk about food has made me hungry. So I'm off to the fridge to take out the first thing I find and cover it in mayonnaise. Until <laughs> next time, I've been Ricky Hawthorne. Cheers! Yeah, Moon Tycoon was kind of funny. It was... They made a, a big deal about the fact that it was in 3D. When that was a very new thing. So you had all these buildings that were far more animated than made any sense. They had all these giant moving parts. But mechanically, it was basically just SimCity. You know, you'd, you'd build habitats on the moon, and people would just show up. It would automatically increase... Um... Your population size without worrying about, say, the logistics of actually getting people to the moon. So it was simpler in some ways than it should have been given the scenario, but you know, it was it was in space, so it was cool. And there was this whole plot line too. You kind of went through this this uh, whole story across like 30 missions of humanity building their first moon colonies and mining helium-3 and eventually finding alien life and then there was conflict between two alien species and blah 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 it was this whole thing It would be fun to stream sometime as kind of a nostalgia day, though um, in some ways it's not super stream friendly, especially in terms of the story, because you have to read quickly in order to get the story, because you know, the, the dialogue boxes will fade away. Also, I'd have to make sure it didn't have that bug where all the numerical fields don't display properly Visitors in some versions of Windows. Money rocks! Is this just because I'm increasing our space mining skill? If that's the case, I should have done that a long time ago. But anyway, our security can get beefed up again. And let's improve space mining for those who have it. because you're stuck in class. You can't get any of your needs dealt with when you're stuck in class. Okay, that teacher maybe should be kept out of tutoring since they can't get any particular skill in it. Let's 
bring you as a dedicated tutor. through the roof again. I'm obsessing over that screen too much. Is there anyone? He isn't happy with their dormitory. Felicity Bellbottom speaking for you, the students, in every sense, on campus radio. Up next, we'll be talking about power napping, comforting dream, or confusing nightmare. Find out after this. Okay, we have fewer than 10 students assigned per dorm room now. That should be enough, considering what we really want is less than five per bed. That's what keeps people pretty happy. Well, how are grades? We're about halfway through the year. The campus provides healthcare for its students. Well, it should. Specialist Book Report, Frogs and Friends by Hamish Curlybags. Let's see if we can nudge a few more people into the A-plus range. Well, hopefully you can deal with stuff as soon as you're out of class. Terrible space rocks. Lots of students struggle to get enough sleep. That's why Campus Radio's very own Maggie Watmore has been trying out the latest techniques to fit some much needed rest into a busy schedule. trying out power napping the day's craze sweeping through campus like that fungus in the showers <laughs> if you that don't know power napping or turbo kipping is a practice that allows you to sleep on the spot grabbing some valuable rest time between classes i think i almost did it for a moment but then i realized i was 45 minutes late for a lecture <laughs> but no yeah i actually feel really well rested
So unfortunately, with our student, uh, with our teachers busy tutoring people, they don't have as much time to get their training done. More campus level ups, at least. Let's make you another dedicated tutor. And if there's no one to tutor, then you can do your own training. That said, I'm gonna copy this staff room and put one out here. We don't have a whole lot of staff room space. It gets crowded every summer. Research project, like wearing a bike. Oh boy. Student support can be found in student support. Well, our cheese is still giving us a good profit. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, we're, we've got a few more people still within range going to prioritize you the rumors, for care the are not a just so you can get back to work faster and so you can maybe get some tutoring in. Isabel Cardigan. Now the story of an arts college with no paint in sight. Hugh. Yes, the students at Fitzpocket Academy were supposed to be taking a class in oil painting this year, but their funding allocation has shifted and so too has the earth beneath the feet of their expectations. I was lucky enough to speak to one student. Yeah, it's a bit of a shame, but it's all right. I'll just take the class next year. A brave <laughs> face on an even braver student. This is just another story of student funding crushing the hopes and indeed dreams of some fine art students. All they wanted was some paint. But for now, the funding has dried up, and with it, the oil paint well. So sad.
Well, that's right. Toshley, you followed and I never got around to naming a building after you. Toshley Station, there we go. Perfect. Announcement. Milkshakes are not an appropriate breakfast. Please join me in welcoming the mysterious space rock to campus. <laughs> You're so close. It's just sad. Really relatable though. This really is the life of an almost A plus student. If your grades are almost perfect, People laser focus on the one thing you got wrong. Hello, Shideon. New to the Crummy Student Range. Unfoldable pizza. Yeah. It'll fill you up without filling up your cupboards. Oh yeah. Crumley's unfoldable pizza. It's a fraction the size of your average frozen pizza. Whoa. And when it's unfolded, well, you've got yourself a whole pizza. Mmm, just like Mama used to make. Mama used to make folded pizzas? Frequently asked questions. I believe that smell is you. Well, I'm doing well. How are you? Pretty happy to let those monoliths just kind of sit wherever they land. They're kind of nice that way. Oh, how are our seniors? Oh, and pain because of a tooth? Oh, that stinks. I'm sorry. That is awful. I've been in that situation, and yeah, that's the kind of pain where you can hardly think about anything else till it gets dealt with. Good luck with that. Uh, do I have a way for you to be involved, like being a teacher or student? Uh, generally, when someone follows the channel, I name a building or a room after them. Because that's how things are at a real college. If you give a school a bunch of money, they put a plaque on the wall with your name on it. Needed to unlock toilets. Uh, however, people... Yes, if you followed a while ago, you probably had your name put on something... A long time ago. I know when I started the game, I got a list of all the current followers and doled out those names as, uh, as I built stuff. But let's find a building that doesn't have a name on it yet. There's Bruce Hall, Campus Building 7. We can name this one after you. Shidian Hall. There we go. New research project available? I don't need research. 
I need my students to be slightly smarter. Former professor Hercules Cheesewater recently came under fire after publishing work they found on the bus. The professor has now responded to the allegations, saying, Inspiration can come from the strangest of places. So true, professor. In fact, I find all my coursework on public transport. Proofread and ready to hand in. <laughs> Okay, let's improve people's pub, uh, private tuition. Medical issues can interfere with your studies. Go to the nurse and get back to work. Interesting. Runny Pilchard was just... They were in a, a farther down queue position for something, but they very suddenly got called into that room. I wonder what happened. Sometimes unexpected things happen. And sometimes people can't find the door to their classroom. Some students have a long way to travel. Is that their problem or ours? Uh, what classes is the hall for? Let's let's find where I put it. Uh, you have got well, you've kind of got a little of everything. You've got a science lab. You've got a, uh, this is a crematorium, which is where we are learning to process space cheese, which involves feeding it to this slug. And then we get it back from the back of the machine. I feel like asking too many questions would be ill-advised here. Uh, we've got one dormitory room that's got these interesting space beds. Tuition fees are expensive and education is priceless. And I put some UFO decor here. What's um it's raining space rocks. Let's spruce up this hallway a little bit. Let's see how the temperature is. Temperature's fine. Uh, we don't have a whole lot of people waiting around for things in this hallway. You know, because we don't have things like first aid rooms in it. So I haven't put too much work into making it... ...super nice looking. I guess I've put some art onto the walls. But it's kind of a nice clean place because people aren't dropping, like, food wrappers on the ground. That tends to happen in a place where we've got um, things like uh, vending machines. <laughs> Scared to get haunted? Well, there don't seem to be any ghosts in this campus. It's not like the hospital where people can die and haunt the place. Uh, the crematorium could use some decor, really. There we go, that looks a little nicer. Which campus is this? This is the third campus of the DLC. Uh, the Space Academy DLC. So this is, it's called Cheesy Heap Delta Rai. And the gimmicks, aside from the uh, Space Cheese and the Humanities course, Humanities being aliens learning to live like humans, the other big gimmick is that you have to purchase enough shuttles to bring in the students every year. And that's not really an issue at this point because we have a lot of money, but it is something you have to watch out for in the beginning. Toilets. Lovely. 
The other big thing that's going on here is this third star goal where they want people to graduate humanities with A plus grades. This is really hard. This is why I'm putting so much effort into training teachers and setting up tuition and all that just because it's an incredibly high goal. got private tuition. Let's lean into that a little more. Ursula Shaker, let's have you lean into private tuition a bit too. Uh, the other thing going on here is that the aliens... This is just a campus that has a high incidence of pastoral issues and first aid issues. So you have to constantly deal with tons of them. We had five A-plus graduates. And welcome to the show. On the drive-in this morning. One dropped out, 53 grads total. Speedily overtaken by a car full of whippersnappers, pipsqueaks, and good for some things. I couldn't tell what they were chanting, but it certainly did look like fun. <laughs> so today, only partly because I've got nothing else planned, I thought I'd pay tribute to those young people by telling you a few stories from my glory days. All right, well, we are definitely accelerating. Is this school supposed to be on Mars? Uh, we're on some kind of asteroid. Uh, I don't seem to be able to get a very good camera angle on it. But we're on some kind of cheesy asteroid. Uh, have you seen the Wallace and Gromit shorts, particularly A Grand Day Out. It's basically that. The academic year is starting soon. Was there anything we wanted to do? I mean, in that case, it was explicitly the moon, but it's basically that because cheese. Our numbers doing. Hundred twenty seems to be okay. <laughs> How do people live? It's cartoon physics. It's fine. I mean, the plant life seems to be doing okay. The only plant life that makes any sense is this tentacle thing under the dome. But it doesn't seem to bother anyone. Uh, it is a cold map. Your I know I will. Ah, which reminds me I should... Put some more fire pits around for that very reason. Fire pit. So it's cold, but it's a pretty mundane level of cold. It's not like space cold. we doing? We had some cues here, but we seem to have worked through them fairly well.
For those of you who don't know how I spent my formative years, I was born, bred, and buttered right here in Two Point County before attending what was then called Two Point University. I think it's still called that now, but it was then too. Right, top draw anecdotes coming up, but first, here's another tour tapper. Let's see if we can shock this student into a better room. There we go. Their pathing was broken. There you go. Okay, you're fine. All you need to do is get some rest. Dorm 19 must be one of the new ones up this way. I think at this point we can start the year. Just gave everyone a round of training. Yeah, the ability to adjust the buildings yourself has been really nice. When I bought this section of land here, the buildings that came on it by default were two small ones. Now we found out that you can't merge two buildings, but I just took one of them away and stretched out the other one and put the door in. Wow, it's crowded up here. And people are having some pretty high grades. Let's look at our job assignments, especially for teachers. We've got enough people with private tuition skills, at least for humanities, that I'm going to start cutting people out of private tuition in humanities if they don't have any private tuition skill. Cheese Moongri, I don't care. When it comes to food, Sometimes simple living is happy living. Don't get me wrong, I'm incredibly lucky to eat a wide range of things nowadays, from chicken sandwiches to pastas of seemingly infinite shapes and lengths. But I'll never forget that time at university when I lived off an enormous block of cheddar. I was said to be mostly cheese by the end of term, and you know, I think they were right. <laughs> Put one of these big books in. Maybe scatter them around campus a little more. We've got one there. Cool stories, bro. It's nice to have people in book club because they learn faster. Are all students aliens on this map? Yes. Janitor needed to unlock toilets. Lovely.
More private tuition skill for everyone. Let's get a little more security skill. <laughs> Some humans would need the class. Uh, well, in the previous maps, we had humans taking courses and being space knights. And, um, what was the other course called? Basically, Star Trek. Okay, here's someone who's in their third year. They're not quite at an A plus level, but they're getting some bonus XP. Let's see what happens when they finish this private learning session. 87%, okay. That was an actual visible improvement. So let's queue them up for another one of those. Hopefully that can tip the balance. Do I get to upgrade the humanities class again? Yes, but we haven't had enough points accrued to do so. Uh, we've got... From Bungle, the small car that makes the little how many do we have? Than they are. Not it's sure how many course points we have. We can check next summer how many course points we have. Every level we increase a course costs more than the previous. So, we've had to level up quite a lot in order to get enough to improve things anymore. You're year two, but let's see what happens, just so we can get a sense of how well things are doing. 1% improvement. Okay, well that's something. Okay, we've got a bunch of people who are just barely A pluses. A lot, actually. about your grades. There we go. Numbers are looking better all the time. It's just a matter of how long it'll take for them to actually make a difference. Ricky Hawthorne. Hunt 
One summer, some friends and I headed north on a fisherman's pilgrimage to Tumble. I tell you, there's no freedom like it. Just a group of mates, their munching bucket hats, and a case of antique fishing flies. Pure bliss. Let's get you tuition skill. Twelve invaders. So this is kind of a legacy of Space Knight education. We've got evil Space Knights sometimes coming on campus and giving everybody dark thoughts. Let's slow things down a little bit so we can watch them sabotaging things. So now everyone needs pastoral care because they have dark thoughts. Students with pastoral issues should go to student support. Intruders on campus. You know what to do. Yep. In fact, the visitor card even says that. Over the years, countless space knights have turned from well-meaning peacekeepers into antisocial tools. Being alone in space clearly has that effect on people. It's dark out there. Thankfully, unlike the Jedi Academy, we actually have psychological help available. We also have janitors with squirt guns. Janitors with squirt guns and better aim than stormtroopers. back up. Also, we keep getting suggestions for these things that the game thinks we have trouble doing. To some of you, but the young Hawthorne was something of a prankster. <laughs> yes, once at school, the gang and I bought several thousand soft drawing pencils and, in the dead of night, swapped them with our school supply of much harder standard issue pencils. I only wish you could have seen the look on Mr. Featherbridge's face when he tried taking registration the next morning. <laughs> or the man was livid. Unfortunately, two of the boys were expelled for breaking and entering. <laughs> Don't trespass, kids. Good grief. Management view. That's not what I wanted. Yeah, there's this shadow of some kind of spacecraft moving over us, but. Oh, okay, yeah. If I try to zoom out too far, it puts me into management view. That's not what I want. Well, of course you're miserable. You're stuck in class. I mean, I guess I admire my students' diligence for going to class even when they feel awful, but that's... You know, there's a reason you might not want to do that. Announcement. Shouldn't you be working? 
Just more asteroids? Oh, they might be that. It's kind of hard to tell just from a shadow. Research project available. That's crackers. Wow, library is full of people. Janitor needed in dormitory. How are you all doing on your assignments? Getting A pluses on the individual assignments, that's good, but the learning rate in here is crazy high. I shouldn't be too surprised at that. I want to stress that I don't think a young person's life is all fishing trips and A-grade hijinkery. No, no. I also took a great deal of substance from the many mentors and role models in my young life. I'll never forget the professor who took my Introduction to Advanced Thinking course at university. He once told me, Ricky, I don't think you'll ever understand what I'm saying. And he was right. A very wise <laughs> man, that one. There we go. Radiator. Slightly larger room. Janitor to collect litter. We can fit some more books in there. Okay, we repelled all the invaders. We'll just adjust your queue position since you're especially miserable. A lot of just barely A pluses. Let's see what we can do. For those of you who aren't quite there. Janitor required in bathroom. Don't need you, actually. They're college students. When are they not miserable? Well, there's normal stressed out, and then there's actually injured by something. We don't have goth students on this campus. Thanks for joining me on a lovely walk down memory lane. Before we go, I just wanted to remind you that glory days aren't just for the young amongst us. In truth, there's no way I'd rather be than here with you at Two Point Radio. Today's show was sponsored by Bungle Kitty Litter. 
The winter tree <laughs> that'll make your critters day. The campus provides health care for its students. Well, it should. Oh, that's cute. He gave the bookworm a pat on the head. Actually, that's a good point. I should check on the personalities. Personality. Cheese Moonger. Traversing the universe in search of cheesy goodness. How about you? Janitor required in bathroom. Alien. Eager to meet and learn about people. I'm gonna put a few more book club items around. Got a little one there. of just barely A pluses. Oh, people are actually in class right now. get you another level in humanities we can put you on private tutoring duty as well okay you'll be fine as soon as you can actually get into that room Am I going to start a college fresh when I finish the campaign? Yeah, after this college, I still have the last um, base game college still to go. I also never got the third star in, um, what was it? The place where we were doing cheese ball. Uh, just because that was... That was a high profit goal, and it wasn't being too interesting. But, um, let's see, depending on. We probably need at least a couple more years of this one to get to enough people at this rate. 
Just because there are only so many students per year. So it'll probably take about the rest of the session. But yeah, probably next week we'd be looking at something pretty much from scratch. Uh, let's see. Got someone finished some level of training. There we go. Time freezes if I'm staring at that screen, so... I don't actually want to be too obsessed with it. That said... Training is a bottleneck. We can address that. Can we fit two in here? I'm not sure. The host giving you the most on Canvas Radio. It's been too long, and I've been dying to play this next song. See if you notice what they do on the ninth bar in the second verse. Oh, it's really something. We'll be back after this. Why'd I put two in one room? Because I can. There's no reason you can't put multiple training machines in one training room. In fact, I've done it with the other training rooms I've got here. And people can use both at once, though it doesn't seem like people are doing so at the moment. And probably just because anyone who has time to actually get training done has already done it. People only go for training when they've got nothing else that they have to do. Could go for decor. We've got Got brain jars we can put in here that can speed things up. Please put your pencils down. Only kidding. But often when I'm in a scenario like this where I'm just needing to constantly train people. Often, the issue is that I just want more machines to train more people at the same time. So, that's why I, I try to double them up when I can. Let's get you doing private tuition as well. Kimmy Kilmister, since you've got so much time to be training, 
he might as well get you doing that work too. Kimmy Kilmister. Who even goes to the student union? When I want a milkshake, I don't want a pint of milk made. It's so artificial, I just can't take it anymore. I'd much rather go a little off the beaten path and try something local. And preferably very lumpy. Anything from the stomach churn of dairy and smogly is sure to be nice and separated. Now that's <laughs> a milkshake. Ugh. Stomach churn or dairy. Okay, well, we've got a lot of A-plus students now. Don't need you to go. Just four months to go, maybe? Maybe. We'll either manage it or we'll get just short of it. Janitor needed to install upgrade. Thank you. Actually, this is enough percentage points down that I think our tutors are going to be busy enough as they are. Okay, the problem is right now we've got these tutoring rooms taken up by people who are tutoring other subjects. And who don't even have the skill for it. I know we have a few cheese moongery teachers who actually do have tutoring skill. Yeah, see, Leah Whisker. That would be a good person to actually do some tutoring. And you know what? Let's give you the skill as well. Sally Bullfrog. And now, a segment about a student taking an exam. Let's wait till you actually have it before we let you do it. He had been up all night preparing for an important test. He'd done the revision, he'd set his alarms, but then, some hours later, disaster struck. It was as he finished his paper that he realized he hadn't been using a pen. <laughs> he thought he was dotting I's and crossing T's, but sadly, he was just making gestures with his hand over a piece of paper. It's a nightmare for so many of us, but today, it was Bertie's reality. It doesn't matter how desperate you are. No urinating on campus facilities. Let's get you some more benches. Hmm. 
Who's the number one person in this queue? They should get over here. Or, you know, maybe I'll just boot someone in ahead of them if they're not going to actually be here. Okay, you're at 89%. Let's see what happens. percent you are just barely a plus let's see if you can stay that way you're a year one but you're being proactive good for you We have leveled up 3,000 humanity students. My goodness. Really, that just means 3,000 level up ticks, I'm pretty sure, which makes a lot of sense considering how many humanity students we've been teaching and how fast we've pushed up our learning rate. student, but I'm sure it happened. People <laughs> ask me all the time, Ricky, what would you eat if you were a student? And I say, anything from the crumbly student range. It's cheap, it's inexpensive, and above all else, it's affordable. Mm, just like Mama used to make. Yeah, as soon as you can actually get this rank in private tuition, then we'll let you do it. get the whole thing done before you have to go teach a class or something. Needed in dormitory. What? Looking for work. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh no, not quite. Well, we'll check in on you later. here wants training. Yeah, you're a cheesemongery teacher. I have been very much neglecting you. Frequently asked questions. I believe that smell is you. But since you asked for training nicely, you may have it. Oh, it'll take you a lot of work to get up to A+. No. Hmm. Yep, 
Yeah, they get little icons over their heads when they want training. It's it's kind of nice because in Two Point Hospital, staff members like to have training occasionally as well. But they're not quite so obvious about asking for it. Teacher Byron Belcher has been promoted to Super Professor. My goodness. I guess we are getting people up to much higher total numbers of skills taught than we usually would. Eggvos Cressley, sure. For this, and now you have. I'm finally gonna talk about the boogie nights. I'm sure I didn't need to tell you that I was actually in on the group of funky nights very, very early. And I thought they were a real bright spot in the county's music scene. But I must say, I'm just not enjoying them as much these days. I mean, really, I know I like them, but they just shouldn't be this popular. Another perfectly excellent obscure band ruined by too many fans. It's just <laughs> selfish. It really is. How long am I planning on streaming? No, I will not be your friend. Uh, probably about another half hour. Depending on how I do on this goal, I might go long. Or if summer break occurs and it's not quite there yet, then I'll end early. So it's a little fuzzy. But on campus. Oh, no. probably another half hour, which would be 6 Pacific. 6 p.m. Pacific. And I am putting the VODs on YouTube now. Uh, there should be a link to that in the description on the channel. So if, uh, if you ever do need to catch up, it is easier to do so now. They are completely unedited, so you get to skip through empty stuff at the beginning and such, but they are there. I generally have those go up uh, Tuesday morning after the stream. Assistant wanted in medical office. Space Knights have been on campus for multiple days and we have not caught any of them. What's going on? Where are the janitors? Okay, well, we're getting a bunch at once now. I guess it just took them a while to catch up to the first few. It's almost the end of the academic year, in case you haven't noticed. Oh, I'd noticed all right. Godfrey Chess. Oh yeah, I already allowed you to do private tuition. I'm gonna take this out again until you finish. It's hard to know. Ah, Sally Bullfrog, you are now properly qualified. 
Okay, we had 10 people graduate with A-plus grades. So probably one more year will do it, because everything's just getting better all the time, as the Beatles said. 54 graduating, good for us. Now, in response to earlier questions from Data X Flexagon, yes, we can keep on upgrading humanities. We now have 55 course points because we've kept on leveling up the campus, and that means we finally have enough to upgrade humanities again. Takes a whopping 50 points to do it. Bonk, there we go. And even bringing in 28 people, we still have a learning rate of 121%, which is even higher than it was before. So I say go for it. Yeah, you've probably seen when we start off a subject, it only takes like 20 or so for the first level up, but it just gets higher every time. Oh, I see you, bookworm. All right, so let's get through summer. Let's queue up training. Now, because we've leveled up humanities again, our maximum will have risen from 8 to 9. So that's something we can work on. I'm feeling pretty good about our janitors at this point. So let's not sit in that screen any longer than we have to. Got rid of all the invaders, that's very nice. Oh, you got mod duties. Well, I will see you later, Shideon. Have fun being a mod. Good for you for handling that sort of thing. I'm very... That, that kind of work would make me nervous. Sir Nigel Bickleworth on Two Point Radio. Welcome to Two Point Radio, where it's a great day. Why? Because I, Sir Nigel Bickleworth, am talking into a microphone. Can you feel it? Can you hear me? Is this thing on? Really, Dennis, if this is off again, I'm going to come in there and dump you. One, two, biscuit. four, five, six, we'll seven, the on the air, eight, and nine, be back ten, with more eleven, twelve, thirteen. Deliciousness after this. So we've got at least 13 incoming seniors who already have A plus GPAs. So that bodes well. We only need nine for the goal. So let's just hope they can keep their grades up. The other stream ended. Well, such is Twitch. How are the queues? Zero here. Uh, we've got a fair number of. Oh wow, we've got a fair number of people with pastoral issues. some training for our pastoral people. 
guess we could always have more people who do that sort of thing. Rock Rambo. Let's get you on staff. They're going very quickly. Yeah, because this person has a skill of eight, so they can cure people very fast. This person's skill of three, not so fast. Chat zone. <laughs> skill of one. Well, that's all right. So the youth of today believe they can churn out a radio show from the comfort of their toilet seats. The call! <laughs> In my day, one had to work for years, making sandwiches and polishing the communication tower before they even let you touch a microphone. There's more to radios than ability, charm, and technological literacy. Eager little autodidacts, the lot of them. <laughs> done. This room's got no one left in the queue. How about this one? One more person. Janitor required in bathroom. Your session's ending early because your assistant who was providing care went on break. In the middle of talking to that seems kind of awful. This room's finishing up. This room's got no queue. I think we're all done over here. Looks good. So let's just make sure this last person got taken care of. Yes, off they go. Start the year. The timetable is not written in stone. Still, we're not changing it. All right, we've got loads of people heading off to various kinds of training. Is there a reason I stop at six? Yeah, that's just my schedule. Two to six on Sundays. If you're going to be doing private tuition as well as cheese moongery, let's give you skill in that. Students should check in before trying to learn. Although, actually, cancel that training. We'll give you cheese moongery training. And I'm going to boot you out of tuition. 
because we want humanities students in tuition. Yeah, I have a pretty standard day job. Slackjawed nephew Kevin ushered me through cyberspace and into the world of video games. Yes, I played <laughs> the latest entry in the popular Meat Wizard franchise for Sir Nigel Reviews. I was lost. I was cold. I was scared. The controller was sticky and the subject matter obscene. <laughs> well, I'm unsurprised that it appeals to the desensitized youth of today. I'll tell you what I told that chap in the deli. No one needs that much ham. One magical gem out of a possible five. Okay, maybe no one needs that much ham, but what about wall chicken? Students are reminded that some grades are personal. You can never have too much wall chicken. finish yes okay you're already doing private tuition that's fine I'm not sure if people can be directly injured by the meteors now, any student who walks near a meteor gets sick. That's one reason we have so many people needing the first aid rooms. So that's why we're so keen on cleaning them up quickly. Okay, what are all your grades like? Is there anyone just shy of an A plus we can bump into the A plus range? We should be oh no, you're you're cheese hungry. Never mind. I mean be studious if you want, but than 88 or so, we'll leave alone. Since so far we've really only seen a gain of a couple percentage points at most. How are you doing? Okay, your teacher has skills five and one. New to the Crummy student range, chicken stompers. Take the smoothest natural chicken matter from Crumley Farm's boneless chickens. Add our secret seasoning and a touch of traditional stabilizing agent and stamp. You've got Crumley's chicken stompers. Brilliant for palatability. They really could be anything. Nothing. Mmm, just like Mama used to make. Hmm. And we've got all these bonus items in the room, too. Teaching in their underwear? No, these are... These are the standard teaching... ...robes. 
Now the aliens are all wearing their spacey outfits. Okay, you got a small benefit, but you're year two. We're not so concerned with you. Shorts look like boxers? Eh, yeah, I don't know. Ooh. You can give them different outfits. Navy gown, two-point Krampus, that's a Christmas thing. Elven ensemble. <laughs> it is kind of funny because... As, as an American, I am not used to college professors wearing their academic robes all the time. That only ever happens at graduation. And I don't know, maybe is that more of a thing in the UK? Or maybe it's just an iconic look that that they're leveraging for the game just so that teachers will have a uniform. Which is kind of a nice idea. Just since it's a game, you do want things to be visually distinct from each other. Card check again. Let's just focus on those. so profitable at the moment. To the news and the controversy surrounding Education Minister Tarquin Foxbridge, who allegedly blew his nose on official government documents. <gasps> Stories like this are scandalous. It's perfectly clear to me that a group of students have fabricated the images somehow, and yet this poor minister faces all manner of backlash and public murmurings. And why? Because he was photographed doing something? I know a witch hunt when I see one. Okay, you are a year three student. You have an 89%. How's this private tutoring session gonna go? Ninety percent! Ding! Good for you! About you. Well, you're already at 90%. Maybe you did well in a class after I assigned you tutoring. Which is fine with me. I think we're in a pretty good situation here. Don't need to keep staring at that screen. Very crowded library. Oh, we've got cues at the standard bookshelves. Please 
futurism is not a belief system. <laughs> That's how it should be. What do you know about radio after all? Almost nothing, I'd imagine. Still, it's time for that rare occasion where we put you, the listener, at the center of things. I am the aunt to ease your agony, the balm to abate what bites you, the A to all your cues. I am listening. Oh, and we're out of time. We'll get to your problems after this, all right? All right. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, people are doing well, and with any luck, we might get a little more teacher training in before the last classes that people have. Did I get another round of upgrades in here? Yes, I did. The game probably would have pestered me by now if I hadn't. Uh, you're a year two student. Hmm, pastoral care. Yeah, let's do a round of training for that. Since we've seen there's a big difference between having a high and a low skill in that. like here. It's three, so it's got some people, but it's not completely clogged. Library requesting assistant. Darn it, this is why I allowed two people in here. So you wouldn't be stuck without someone. What are you all waiting for? Are you just hanging out? I guess you were waiting for a class to start. Campus level 38. Wow. Okay, you're getting tutoring in year one. Very proactive of you. This music. Let's give you something to sit on. <laughs> Just in time for it to be too late. Let's make sure people have something to do while they're waiting for the doctor. It's looking pretty good. It's time for Agony Answers with me, Sir Nigel Bickleworth. This week's problem is from student Felony Bogdropper, who writes, I've got loads of work but can't concentrate with all the noise in my flat. Well, Felony, I advise that you try a change of scenery. Aww. Work in the study, write in the billiard room, mill about in the converted mill, why, read in the scullery. Your home is your castle. 
utilize all of its many, many nooks and crannies. That's what got me through the hard times. Students are reminded to fork it over. <laughs> private tuition when you're at a 76. Let's see what kind of an increase it gives you. I'm 78. Okay, well, that's something. Not really relevant to what we need. Well, the the first purpose for private tuition that you usually encounter is to keep people from failing out entirely. And there are some students who will just go because they want to without being told. And then there are other students who are in danger of failing out and still won't go until you do tell them to, so... Probably pretty realistic. Someone's gotta catch this guy. There's others who are being caught. <laughs> You're invoking dark thoughts inside the pastoral care room? Wow. And you're having trouble finding the door. Oh, thwarted by your inability to find the door. Oh, man. That's glorious. Do you like what you hear? Of course you do. So why not call in and let our producers know? Recent research suggests that over 97% of our listeners are incidental. That is, hearing by accident rather than intent. Collateral Johnnies, if you will. Nevertheless, I have faith that each radio segment, like a juicy needle in a haystack of filth, is found by someone, somewhere. Well done to you, today's deliberate listener. One left somewhere. Walking away, dripping. That was pretty awesome. Uh, third year. Loads of A pluses. Even more A pluses. Yeah, it's about as I predicted. Once we started getting a few people over the line, we started getting loads of people over the line. Shetta, we don't actually need you to go to tuition. I think we're pretty much set. And yeah, I don't mind going a little long to finish out the year. Maybe spruce up the place a bit. 
There's some interesting looking things we can set up. Especially outdoors. Put rocket signage. One-eyed snake plant sitting on its nest eggs. I never put the hedges around this building. We should fix that. It's just such an easy way to give you so much free almost free, nice appearance right around the edge of the building. And it looks nice. Skills are not transferable. There we go. something we can put kind of in the middle of things. Outdoor space rose garden, why not? <laughs> the allotment, that's kind of a nature club thing. Oh, more... More planet signage. Ooh, this is big. Where should we put it? Let's not block any windows. A taste of space. That sounds like a restaurant in Tomorrowland. Bungle statue. Fountain of knowledge. You can put this indoors. Ooh, a telescope. You're unhappy. Let's just push you forward in the queue. You'll be fine. Janitor is needed to collect litter. Yep, people can have multiple problems at once, though they seem to have only one problem of a particular type at one time. Now he gets to go to library orientation, but I think he'll be okay. He doesn't have two things dragging him down anymore. see, one last round of training, perhaps? Just because we can? Learning on the job on Campus Radio. Can I ask, um, should we be paying someone for using this next song? Sorry, I just really <laughs> don't know. But anyway, I'm sure it'll be fine. Here we go. Students oh with boy. issues should go to the health clinic. Inspirational speaking 10. Wow.
going to be running the Dead Poet Society here. Do I have tea and cookies? Yes, we have tea and cookies in this room. Gotta have tea and cookies. Uh, what else? Some sort of stuff I should unlock for here. Winter rug. Pickle pizza poster? Huh. Give you a dartboard. Notice board. Looks nice. Oh yeah, usually when people are, are really miserable, it's because they've got multiple issues. And most of the time I've seen people get so upset that they drop out. It's often when they have multiple issues and they're stuck in class, so they can't go get those issues dealt with. So their timer just ticks down while they're in class because they can't leave. Interesting that this humanities lecture doesn't have any slides. Most of the lecture hall classes do. Students are asked not to ask questions. <laughs> Someone looking through the telescope. Not that you need a telescope to see what's going on. There are space rocks falling from the sky. Everyone on campus is talking about the county's education minister and the bad, or maybe good, thing that happened. Over to you, Hugh. <laughs> Yes, that's right. Emotions are high here in Crockenbush today as students have flooded into the city to protest the continued existence of Education Minister Tarquin Foxbridge. They dabbled in some chanting, but haven't been able to get into an easy and repeatable rhythm. We'll be here letting you know the wording they settle on as and when it happens. Mendmund Eggman. Yeah, they've got the same double problem there. Plus other things, but they are actively getting help. So I think they'll be okay. Ah, and you might have seen they were very briefly in the queue for medical care, but then left that queue because they have class. Students will not go to medical care or similar if they have a class to go to instead. You want Jasmine Odyssey to come? Sure, big end of the year bash. I suppose we have a whole lot of time left for anyone to fit in any more tutoring, but I doubt we'll need it. We've got 
plenty of people with A plus grades now. Let's see how you do. How are you doing? You're doing private tuition even though you already have an A+. And I don't seem to have assigned you, because the button's not lit up. I guess you're just that dedicated. Maybe they're going to grad school after this. To learn better? Of course you do. Wanda, how do we do that? Don't seem to be super profitable. Everyone is looking for ways to study without all those hours in the library and pen stains on your fingertips. The latest way to trick your body into learning is to sleep with a book in front of or on top of <laughs> Nothing. your face. As you sleep, your eyes will occasionally open, letting in a little light and valuable, valuable knowledge. Try it for a week and see the results for yourself. Sure, sounds great. Okay, we're almost there. Almost, almost. Janitor required in bathroom. Possibly lower profit because we have fewer students to keep the GPA up. Yeah, that that is probably part of it. Uh, we also have more teachers than we would usually need for this many students because we have so many that are tutoring. What job do they get with this education? Well, presumably either processing cheese or whatever you do once you have the skill of fitting in with humans. Interplanetary diplomacy of one kind or another, I guess. Ah, oh, finally I'm seeing more people using the big bookshelf. That means people are finally leveling up in their book club. Which is probably also helping their studies, because people learn faster by joining the book club. Possibly more education after learning to fit in with humans? Maybe. We are approaching the end of the academic year. Try not to worry. Alright. Still loads of people in the library finishing up that one last assignment. There we go. <laughs> Ooh, a space critter statue. That's always fun. Cheesy Heap, Delta Rye. Three stars. You have developed a world-class facility up there among the satellites. Will students choose it over the county's countless acceptable, readily accessible institutions? Who knows? But something tells me convenience wasn't at the forefront of your mind. 
And monies, yes, they give us a lot of money for that too. And kudosh, which we have more of than we will ever need in our entire lives. Summer break would be a convenient time for construction. 13 years. We have 54 graduating. 111 continuing. 90% average over everybody. And not especially profitable, but that's fine. And I don't especially need to care anymore. Hi, I'm Jumbo McNally. At a Jumbo University, every instructor is handpicked by someone that was handpicked by someone that I handpicked. That's the Jumbo Touch. Jumbo University, be your biggest self. Uh, let's see, I'm looking for a space creature statue. There it is. I guess it's indoors. One friendly fella. Entertainment and attractiveness. Cool. Let's put him by the tutoring rooms in honor of how we got here. Wow, he kind of has a uh, Kang and Kodos look to him, doesn't he? Our campus. Even Audrey Jr. look? Sorta. There it is, taking up most of our allotted space. There actually was a little bit more than this. We could have expanded into this corner here. I wonder if there was another corner over here. No, there's just this launching platform. So they gave us a little extra corner, but not a whole lot more than what we see here. Okay, let's go back to the map. Just so anyone who hasn't seen this DLC area can see a little bit of it. Okay, so Cheesy Heap, Delta Rye, they show us the rocket ship that we used to get there. Cape Shrapnel was where we were before. And then before that was Universe City. So what we've got for next week is Two Point University. The county's namesake university was bought and shut down by Jumbo Megacorp. Ugh. Now it's being reopened by you. So that'll be for next week. Until then, I will take you all over to the stream over screen. And let's see who's around to raid. Yep, gotta love my plushies. Okay, let's see. Uh, well, Dan Jones is playing Loop Hero. I haven't seen anyone play that in a while. It's kind of a an interesting sort of RPG, uh, which is an auto battler, which is the kind of game where you, you kind of set things up like dominoes and then you see how they fall. So let's go say hello. Thank you all so much for joining me. And I will see you all next week. And until then, have a great week.